I like fishing because it's, it's a relief. It gets, gets me out of everything that's going on around me. I could go out and not catch anything and be perfectly fine. My name is Austin Dodd and I'm 17 years old. I started feeling a pain in my leg uh, near the end of 2015. The swelling was so crazy, you know, that he, he couldn't really do anything. It looked like he had a basketball sitting on his knee. Went in to see an orthopedic. He came in with someone else carrying a box of tissues and I was like, okay, something's not right. He showed me on the MRI. He said, you know, I think it's bone cancer. Uh, everything around me in the room just like froze and kind of just like went deaf for a few seconds. Life thrown at you crazy. Austin has osteosarcoma, um, which is a bone cancer, and so that started off in his leg. But as osteosarcoma frequently does, he had some nodules on his lung. My first thought was, okay, what now? What, what's the plan ahead of us? What are we going to do to beat this? I wanted to go to Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital because I wanted to have the special care that I needed. I had 12 weeks of chemo, then I had my knee surgery, then finished the other weeks of chemo that I had left. They wanted him to finish up the chemo regimen, the whole entire roadmap, before they started the surgery with the lungs. Right here at the top of the arrow is the nodule. There was one that was more suspicious, and so we decided to do that side first. Austin and I both got to meet the fellows that followed behind Dr. Chandler when she come in to check on them um, after the surgeries. The fellows who come to us are fully trained in adult general surgery, and many of them have additional training in different areas of medicine, such as critical care. All right, I'm just gonna lightly push, okay? They see the full breadth of pediatric care from very tiny, extremely premature babies all the way up through 21-year-old more adult-sized patients. All right, you mind if I take another look here, Anthony? There are only about 35 to 45 people who are trained to do this every single year, and only about 500 active pediatric surgeons in the entire country. So this is a very small, niche expertise field that we're very lucky to have here um, that not everyone gets to experience. I'm starving <laughs> my stomach. Surgery went very well. I mean, his recovery was just amazing. It was so fast compared to other other patients who have had the same operation. When I was able to walk, they couldn't stop me. Like, <laughs> I was all the time out of my room walking. The investment here in us training pediatric surgeons is that we are producing a very highly specialized and trained individual who can go out and do something that not very many people can do. It also raises awareness of our program here and carries the weight of our name across the country so that everyone knows that Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital is a great place to train and a great place to take care of their children. You did a good job. Being able to trust your kid's life in somebody else's hand, it's, it's not very easy, but I can say that she made it so much easier. I never doubted, not only her, but the fellows, just everybody. Today I'm fine. No more pain. Everything's basically back to normal. I like my scars just to remind me that you know, I've fought one of the hardest battles there are to fight, which is cancer. I mean, my scars are me.